Kaikuyu grass is native to the highland regions of East Africa and is most well known for being a highly invasive and aggressive grower. With the ability to perform in most Australian climates, Kaikuyu can stand up to a wide range of conditions. Kaikuyu can be a good economical option for both home lawns and larger spaces such as racecourses or parks and is also used as pasture for livestock grazing. It was introduced into Australia for this reason as a robust pasture grass for cattle. Kaikuyu thrives in sunny aspects and full sun areas. It provides a strong, dense root base which helps it to stand up to hot summer days, providing acceptable drought tolerance. Kaikuyu spreads vigorously through rhizomes and stolons, making it the perfect option for larger areas and erosion control. However, due to its strong vertical and subsurface growth habits, it can easily invade and spread throughout your garden and becomes very difficult to control. Kaikuyu can grow in a wide range of soil types, but performs at its best in fertile, light to medium textured soil with moderate drainage and salinity levels. The ideal soil pH for Kaikuyu is 5.5 to 7, but it can tolerate levels as low as 4.5. Being a warm season turf variety, Kaikuyu prefers growing temperatures between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius, but can manage in conditions much hotter. During winter, Kaikuyu are going to a certain level of dormancy and will stop growing when exposed to frost. Kaikuyu is not a great performer in low light or shaded areas and will require at least five to six hours of direct sunlight in order to thrive. Although a Kaikuyu lawn's initial cost is lower than other varieties, it's important to consider the long-term maintenance and upkeep costs associated with this type of grass. Being mindful of correct and efficient irrigation practices will help you to maintain a healthy Kaikuyu lawn. If watering is necessary once established, Water only when there are signs of grass drying out, for example wilted leaves. Do not water in the cooler winter months unless there are signs of the above. If irrigation is needed, deeply soak the top 100 millimetres of soil, generally 30 minutes with a standard sprinkler will be enough. Water early morning for improved efficiency and plant health. Kaikuyu will require frequent mowing throughout the warmer months due to its aggressive growth habits. It's important you mow regularly to ensure you don't remove more than one third of the leaf in one pass. Ensure that mower blades are sharp to prevent tearing of the leaf. Never remove more than one third of the leaf blade at any one time unless dethatching. Dethatch if required in late spring for best results. Kaikuyu is known to be highly responsive to nitrogen and can see a strong flush of leaf growth when high levels of nitrogen are applied. It is for this reason that we recommend applying a slow release fertiliser over the warmer months so the leaf growth doesn't get out of hand. Apply slow release granular fertiliser at a rate of 20 to 25 grams per square metre or 2 to 2.5 kilograms per 100 square metres. For best results, fertilise at least three times per year. Important dates are late spring, mid to late summer and late autumn. Always irrigate your Kaikuyu well after applying fertiliser on new lawns, apply fertiliser after you cut your lawn at least once. Most domestically available chemical weed and pest control products can be safely used on Kaikuyu lawns. However, most winter grass killer products are not safe for use on Kaikuyu and Paspalum killer products containing DSMA are approved for spot treatment only. It is always best to read the label and check with your supplier for recommended products before any application. If you think Kaikuyu is the right choice for your lawn, you can't go past Australia's number one Kaikuyu grass, Eureka Kaikuyu. Get in touch with your nearest Lawn Solutions Australia member for more information. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.